standing here and shares from Cheryl's place. She owns this land. She and Eddie and Jack put a communal um, uh, land together and we're running the conservancy. That's Eddie's place with the, the grey stuff there on the other side of the fence. And over there by the cell phone tower, just on the other side of the hill, that's Jack's place. And together they have a thousand 300 acres uh, and a conservancy that we now run and that we uh, establish a more diversified species and, and we're improving it, you know. And the first thing, animals need water and animals need grazing. And grazing goes with degradation on uh, that that's brought about by uh, animal numbers, uh, rainfall patterns, uh, topographic uh, location and uh, geological uh, formations. A lot of the habitat yeah, is made up of hills. Uh, the, the topography is like that, and it's a sandstone. It's a, it's a sandstone that, and some sediments, but predominantly sandstone. Now, there's not much growth uh, coming through, and what was here yeah, uh, was burnt. And natural and man-made disasters is, well, the greatest influence on, uh, on grazing and on, on your habitat and the degradation thereof. Now, fortunately, yeah, um, there's not that diverse uh, number of species, neither the, uh, the great uh, numbers. This farm is very underutilized and the extensive management style which we are to, uh, changing, uh, we will change this about. As you can see, the eland down there, they're quite uh, content, but look at the felt behind them. You can see there's a difference at the fence. The fence is a demarcation line, but not for game. They will easily jump over. Look at that uh, invasive species. It's called snake bush. We call it bankrupt bush because when you see that and you're cattle farming, you're on your way out. This farm has been very well managed uh, historically. It's predominantly uh, cattle and horses that has been kept here, yeah? but the, the land has been managed well. Now this is what we call tambukis grass or thatch grass. It's good for, for be a broom and it's good for thatching, but not for much else. The other grass that we have here is irogrostus. Now this is a cultivated pasture and it's a good quality grass, although it is, it is a bit sour. As you can see, ground covering is superb, so, so the, the runoff and, on the water and everything seeps in. There at the top where the shales, the sedimentary formations, is shallow, you can see the grass is sparse. And remember, this is midwinter, so it's, it, is, it is tough, but there's no invasive species as we, as we have there. The felt here, yeah, for, for the time being, and as we stand and as things stand, is quite capable of doing uh, uh, what's demanded of it. But when we now push the species numbers and the diversity of species, that will have seriously have to change. So there's a lot of work we're going to do. We're going to put in the infrastructure. We're going to uh, cultivate some sweet grass, especially for the gemsbach and the other species sensitive to, to grass quality and the sweetness and protein content of, of, of grasses. And then the fire control mechanisms. That is the greatest issue and the greatest enemy. Otherwise, for now, we are very well set.